here we are today with the lovely Shogna Galati. We are very lucky to have you on Sportsfly TV. And why are we here? What are we doing? We're here to promote the brand we are in which is the brand name for our Commonwealth Games team who are going to Delhi in October. Yeah, well, I'll be there. And uh, I suppose... But I'll be there. Do you well. think so? I hope so. It depends on my filming schedule. Surely you will be, you'll be in Coronation Street, won't you, doing uh, Getting Up yes. to Mischief? Getting Up to Mischief, because it's our 50th anniversary. Month, so. Yeah, maybe there, but there's a couple of... You can go to Delhi for a weekend. Right, so you need to have a discussion, I think, with the, with the producers to see whether you can... Maybe you can be part of the story. Sunita goes to the Commonwealth Games. Does that work? <laughs> no, <laughs> unfortunately not. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> we have the Commonwealth Games of course in Manchester. Absolutely. So, uh, early, the early part of my career in Coronation Street was very involved in that in Manchester. I mean, that's interesting actually because you, you were born in Lancashire, weren't you? I was born in Lancashire in Oldham. Right, and you have obviously family stemming from India as well. So. Family from India, though my mother was born in Southport. Right. <laughs> Not very Indian, that is it? No, my dad. But my interest in sport comes from my father. He was a keen cricketer, and he he was at um, Lancashire second team for a while, and then um, he became he was a footballer. He was a bit of an all round He played badminton. He got us into sport quite a lot. Well, he got me into sport basically. Uh, he was a hockey player at school, and uh, and now an avid footballer. Um, you're an avid football yeah, fan. What's, so what's your team? Manchester United. Ah, oh, okay. So, uh, happy it's days. because my dad was at Old Trafford doing cricket, so... Yeah. Well, it's just next door it's to next uh, door, yeah. Granada, isn't it? Now, um, everybody knows you, but not everybody knows about you. Okay, so I've done a little bit of research, being the professional that I am. Six languages you speak. Yeah, I have a working knowledge of languages. I trained as a linguist. I mean, I did French and German at school. And I went to study Arabic university. Part of my course was a little bit of Persian and a little bit of Turkish and some ancient Turkish, which is not an Turkish. That's very useful because if you ever bump into an ancient Turk, yeah. strike up a conversation, couldn't you? Actually, I like, I like looking at antiques, so um, my brother-in-law is very keen antiques collector, so I did some translate the odd things on on these massive war swords from the Crusades that he oh. now and again, yeah. Okay. Now, a lot of people know you from Coronation Street, but I actually know you, first of all, from Dinner Ladies, which must have been great fun, because you're, there you are, in an ensemble with, uh, amongst others, the fabulous Victoria, Victoria Wood. What was that like? And Julie Reed, Felton Barber, Watson. How good was that? I mean, did you pay to be on that? I mean, it must have been that much fun. That was my first television job. I'm also saying that you are one of very, very few actresses who have appeared in EastEnders and Coronation Street. Uh -huh. well, I thought this was all about sport. Oh, well, well, it is as well, yeah, but it's we've got you here, yeah, so. Okay. Yes, I'm, I did appear in EastEnders briefly, six episodes. <laughs> Originally three turned to six, it was going to 12, but then I took my job on Coronation Street. That's fantastic. Okay. Now, turning to sports, Anita. Um, so, uh, you actually play any sports at the moment? I mean, you still look pretty fit, if I may say so, and healthy. Well, I dance. I'm a, I, I was a dance professional before I worked. I was an actor. So, those kind of things never leave you. Right. So, you, you stay fit. I do yoga, I do Pilates, strength exercises. Those are in kind of a daily routine. And there's a lot of um, negative publicity about the, the Delhi Commonwealth Games. There always is before an Olympic Games and the Commonwealth Games. How do you feel about it? Do you think it's going to be a big success? And also, how important for India is it that the Commonwealth Games are a big success? I think it's not only important for India, it's important to the world that India then makes its mark in, in, our, in our new world. I mean, they are a new world economy. And uh, they're fast growing, and it, it should be, it should be, they should be realised on a par with the rest of us here in the world. I mean, they're even further off than we are in India. So it would be fantastic for Delhi. Yeah. It's a lot of yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I was at the Korean Olympic Games in '88. Uh, I was in uh, the Beijing Olympics as well, and there were, there were big moments for those countries. It was uh, sort of an, an announcement to the world, a statement, if you like. And do you see this? In the same regard for India and the Commonwealth Games? I think so. I, I think it should be. As 
I said, it's not just about India singly, it's about India being part of our, our whole world. Yeah. And I think I'm very proud. Um, even though India seems miles away in my ancestry, it, it, it's something that I'm very, very keen to watch, go and see and support, and support our team, my team, my home team. Now listen, uh, living presumably quite close, if not in Manchester, you are surrounded by fantastic sports teams and individuals. You've talked about Manchester United, there's the other lot, by the way, City. Yeah, yeah. We uh, haven't won any trophies for a long time. <laughs> what years? One or two other uh, football teams, of course, as well. You've got Lancashire Cricket, you've got the Cyclists. I don't know whether you ever see any of those guys. Um, so, I mean, you are in one of the sporting capitals of, certainly of this country. I know, I mean, a lot of, I mean, the cycle thing was developed for the Commonwealth Games, so, yeah, and Manchester Stadium was the Commonwealth Games Stadium. So I went when it was the Commonwealth Games, I haven't been since. Did you manage to go to the swimming at all, or the cycling yeah, when it was the there? I went to rugby sevens and the swimming. Fantastic, fantastic. And um, the cricket, do you ever get a chance to actually go and see the cricket? When my father was alive, I did go. I remember definitely waiting outside the clubhouse because I wasn't allowed in, waiting for hours and hours as a little girl. But when he was alive, we asked me to go to the cricket. I now watch the IPL on um, on that on Sky Television. Yeah, I've been watching that as well. It's been fantastic, it's fantastic. hasn't it? I mean, it's amazing. Can you under, I mean, it's just like a totally new game, isn't it? The shots that they're playing, the excitement. Uh, I think it's exciting because it's short. But let's not take away from a proper cricket game. I love that too. It's got Evans running, and I love that too.